Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is the channel for all the PS Vita mischief making. Welcome! New year is right behind the corner, the Christmas parties and get togethers are at its peak, but it doesn't stop us from receiving the vital updates and new releases and that's exactly what we are doing today, we are checking them out. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Let's begin with the new releases, with the first one being the Water Closet aka WC, ported by WidLogic, thanks a lot. And it is a 2D style puzzle platformer, where the objective is to escape down a toilet at the end of each stage. I know it sounds ridiculous and I guess that was its intention. The game graphics are pretty simple, the controls are fine, the physics are a bit weird, but uh, one can easily get used to it. There is also plenty of levels to fight your way through or to jump your way through. And if you want to try it out, it can be downloaded for free with a size about 30 megabytes. Second newly released title is called Inium, Inume, aka Smile Ghost, ported by VM Hosts. Thanks. And it is a parody horror game made by an unknown user, where multiple smile ghosts pursue the player around the Nico Nico headquarters labyrinth building, whilst trying to collect Japanese katakama characters. The game is played from the first person perspective and there isn't much to do apart from what you've just heard. You gotta have strong orientation sense to not get lost, especially in the darkness. You gotta find slash collect all the characters and in the end you gotta press the button to trigger the ending. If you find this game appealing, the link for the VPK is down below and the size is about 170 megabytes. Feel free to check it out. Third new release and the most hilarious one is called Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, made by Surf. Huge thanks to him. And it is an adult oriented romantic comedy visual novel slash dating simulator developed by United Pictures and published by Kirin Entertainment for 3DO interactive multiplayer. It is a game of skill with the opposite sex. The right moves will unite Plumber John and Daddy's girl Jane. It isn't suitable for kids under the age of 13 and it received overwhelmingly negative reviews from critics for its lackluster production value, nonsensical storyline, poor acting and humor and for primarily being presented as slideshow despite being advertised as a full motion video game. It is widely considered as one of the worst video games of all time and now finally even the PS Vita enthusiasts can enjoy the abysmal slideshow experience in the palms of their hands. Zealous check approves. And if you want to try it out, follow the guide in the link down below. Now let's look at the new updates, first one, the very exciting update for Mario Kart Vita version 1.2 made by Vita Hex, thanks to him. Mario Kart Vita is a fan made homebrew game that was released earlier this year and now we are finally getting some additional content to have fun with. New content consists of a new lightning cap with additional tracks, there are also added new unlockable characters, as you can see from the gameplay footage where I compare it to the version 1.0. And the biggest new feature is a split-screen local multiplayer option 
where you can choose to compete against your mate at the comfort of your own home on a single Vita. Both of you can either use the Vita's controls to steer and accelerate, or one of you can operate the card remotely with DualShock 4. Even though I'm not a huge Mario fan, I'm glad we've received this update, as it just goes to show that it is still worth to update even older games with new content as their enjoyability goes way up, which is what we are after, to enjoy and to save you the moment. Thumbs up! You can download it from the link on the VitaHex Twitter account, and the size is about 200 megabytes. but be quick, as you don't want to miss this opportunity. Second update is for the native port of Nazi Zombies Portable to the version 1.1. There have been added an option to disable enable rear touchpad usage, new options have been added for gyroscope aiming, and it works very nicely. Many bugs have been fixed and the performance has been greatly improved by moving from immediate mode rendering for world and entities to shader based rendering. For the full changelog, please check the link down below, and to get the new features, just download and install new VPK on top of your base version 1.0. Following update is for a new or revolutionary PS Vita utility called 11 Music Player, developed by Graphene to the version 6.02. I've already covered it in my previous video, link in the right corner, and the new update brings to the table many new bug fixes. There have been added a workaround to download YouTube videos with illegal characters in the names. There have been added support for non-Latin languages and auto-suggestions to YouTube search keyboard and even new languages have been added, German and Brazilian Portuguese. There are still many issues with this app, as it is still a work in progress. It crashes and errors out much less often than it did before, but it still does crash, of course. So if you are looking for a fortless experience, you need to wait for some more updates, or if you are willing to try out even this not-so-perfect version, you can find the link for it down below. Another long-awaited update is for MGBA emulator developed by Endrift to the version 0.9.3. This version is a bug fix release, which contains many important fixes. For the full changelog, again, please check the link down below, where it's all neatly lined up for you, ready to delve into. So if you are an active MGBA user, I would strongly suggest to update it to the newest version to yield the best results.
Vita Launcher has been updated to the version 3.5 and I finally get to install it and check it out after many of you recommended it after my recent Retroflow Launcher video as a suitable alternative. And I like it. It's different kind of visual experience than Retroflow Launcher, more subtle one. It feels more functional, like subfolders in the main folder, whereas Retroflow Launcher feels more pimped up with custom covers and all the different sliding themes and whatnot. I haven't really checked it out properly, I just installed it and played with it for like 10 minutes, so be sure I'll be playing with it for some more in the near future. New updates for the PS Vita port of Heroes of Might and Magic 2 as well as for Commander Genius aka Commander Keen have been released, so if you are actively playing it, don't forget to install the latest VPK for the ultimate experience. In the end, I'd like to share a video from the Silica's YouTube channel where he showcased to the moon running on the Vita. At least it's beginning. And that means he's having fun with it. Therefore, I'm looking forward to any new updates. Nice one, keep it up. That would be more or less it from the latest updates and releases. Which one did you like the most? Let me know down below. I personally enjoyed almost every single update as all of them was very solid updates. Nice one. If you enjoyed this video guys, please comment, share, watch some more, subscribe for more quality content, it means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to check out our Discord server where you can find out about everything up front and follow me on social media. All the links are down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.